UCSB students started winter quarter with online classes to prevent the spread of Omicron. And as Tracy Lair reports, they aren't likely to return to class in person until next month. UCSB students have more time to catch waves and watch sunsets due to remote learning this month. It's been somewhat of a blessing and a curse, so I mean, I don't really mind online too much. It's up to their instructors to continue remote or in person. Most have chosen remote. I found out this past weekend when uh, Chancellor Yang um, said that it was going to be four weeks instead of just two weeks. And I was a little sad. I mean, I understand, of course, we need to be safe. And I don't feel safe going into class, but I also miss that experience. Upperclassmen have reluctantly grown accustomed to it. You know, I mean, it's just tough, you know, just the whole, it's been a two year pandemic and it's just been tough. The campus is quieter than usual, but some things, including the rec center's outdoor area, are open. But luckily, uh, athletics and all that is still open, so I'm able to work out or go to practice or do all that. UC students are required to be vaccinated and say they are trying to avoid Omicron. When I went home to San Francisco, a lot of people were coming down with it, but luckily I haven't gotten it yet. I've been pretty safe. Eligible students are required to get the COVID booster by January 31st. At UCSB, Tracy Lair, Fox 11 News.